Construction is a huge business and builders make huge mistakes with their projects. So here we are with the top failed mega projects of the world. In this first clip, we will have a look at what happens when you don't consider what the locals want. Interstate H3 Highway Hawaii. It is perhaps the most beautiful and most controversial highway built with some eye-catching views. H3, 37 years in the making, was officially opened on December 12, 1997. It stretches for about 16 miles and connects Pearl Harbor to Oahu's southern coast. Perhaps the biggest factor was the fear of locals, who feared that the area would be negatively urbanized and lose its essence. Coming on to the second clip, we have Arena da Amazonia. This was the result of not having thought of longevity of a project. In preparation for the 2014 World Cup, Brazil spent more than $3 billion on the stadiums. Today, however, not all stadiums are getting put to good use. The stadium took four years to complete. It is estimated to have cost the Brazilian government around 220 to 290 million US dollars. Workers also died during the construction. The stadium ended up being used for just four matches during the World Cup. Today, the stadium sits alone, mostly unused. Looking at Ciudad Real Central Airport, Spain, we learn that when you don't think of how to use resources properly, you lose them. In 2012, the financial difficulties forced the airport management to file for bankruptcy after accumulating a debt of more than 1 billion euros and was eventually closed. It was reopened in September 2019 after being sold for only 10,000 euros. It remains completely useless to date, its last flight being way back in 2012. This was a huge economic failure for the Spanish government. In this clip, we see the superconducting supercollider. In October 1993, the US Congress terminated the Superconducting Supercollider SSC, with an estimated price tag that went above $10 billion. The SSC was designed to do a pretty wide range of physics goals, but at the very core of it was to find the Higgs boson. To them, it was a high-tech jobs project, and that was the image that they projected in Congress. And that is like the kiss of death, especially when you have a multi-billion dollar project that is growing seemingly out of control, pressing on many other projects, not just science projects, but also water projects in various districts throughout the nation. The SSC was indeed a bridge too far. The next clip is of Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository. This one is a result of political influence on mega projects. On the ground accomplishments, today the Yucca Mountain site has been abandoned and nothing exists but a boarded up exploratory tunnel. There are no waste disposal tunnels, receiving and handling facilities, and the waste containers and transportation casks have yet to be developed. In 2010, the DOE shut down the Yucca Mountain project without citing any technical or safety issues. In contrast, decades of scientific study had consistently concluded that the proposed repository could safely protect future generations. The cost of the proposed Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository in Nevada has grown to a projected $96.2 billion over its lifetime. Next up is the world, Dubai, which shows us that no matter how much we want to do it, but we cannot fight the nature when it hits us back. Announced in 2003, these islands are still not successful enough as they were initially expected. Unlike the Palm Islands, this was a smaller project, but it was still not inaugurated and did not have the impact it should have had considering the huge amounts spent on these series of islands. 20 years after these islands were constructed, they are beginning to sink back into the ocean. This is a serious problem and something needs to be done to avoid the islands sinking back into the ocean. We will now have a look at Napierdor, Myanmar. Napierdor has been the official capital of Myanmar since 2005. It is a designer city gone wrong. Massive outlines with nothing on it, 20 lane highways and a tiny population. It's truly a very strange place. Napierdor is the site of the Union Parliament, the Supreme Court, the Presidential Palace, the official residences of the Cabinet of Myanmar and the headquarters of government ministries and military. All the action is still happening in the former capital of Yangon. Napierdor is more of a ghost city. This one is a clip of St. Francis Dam, United States. This dam was constructed between 1924 to 1926, located in the San Francisco Canyon. It was built to meet the growing water demands of Los Angeles, but due to defective soil foundations and several engineering shortcomings in the design, its building cost a massive 1.3 million US dollars. March 12, 2018 marked the 90th anniversary of the 1928 St. Francis Dam disaster. 
the second greatest disaster in California history. 400 lives and possibly more were lost. This was not only poor execution and planning, but also the political nature which was born into the construction of this dam. Here is a special one, London Garden Bridge. A failed plan to build a bridge covered with trees and flowers over the River Thames in central London cost a total of £53 million it has been revealed. Doubts began to surround the project, overseen by Boris Johnson, after it lost the support of London Mayor Sadiq Khan in April 2017. Of the total spent by the Garden Bridge Trust, £43 million was public money, £24 million from Transport for London and £19 million from the Department of Transport. The rest of the money came from donations to the Trust or fundraising activities. When foreign relations cause a hindrance to mega projects, we get Doha Shark Crossing. Qatar's ambitious shark crossing project, the 12km series of underwater tunnels and bridges connecting key centres of capital Doha, has failed to find its place in the government's priority list for the 2022 FIFA World Cup, said a report. The mammoth $12 billion project is likely to miss its schedule as authorities have decided to prioritise the projects Qatar needs for the 2022 FIFA World Cup. In this clip, we will look at Golden Finance. This one shows us exactly what happens when we invest without a plan. Construction began in 2008, but was twice halted, and as of August 2022, it remains unfinished and unoccupied. On the surface, it appears that Golden Finance 117 failed because of a series of unfortunate events and a market that tends to favour state-owned companies. But even when it was put up for sale with a handful of other Golden Metropolitan assets, it didn't attract much attention and no attempt was made to resurrect it. Will Golden Finance 117 be completed? Here is a clip of Ryugion Hotel, North Korea. This building will surely surprise you. The largest building in North Korea is completely empty, standing at a staggering 1,080 feet tall with 105 stories. The Ryugion Hotel, better known as the Hotel of Doom, is the tallest unoccupied building in the world. Why would North Korea build such a massive building and never use it? In 1992, after the building had reached its full architectural height, work was halted due to the economic crisis in North Korea following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Japanese newspapers estimated the cost of construction was $750 million, consuming 2% of North Korea's GDP. Now let's have a look at Big Dig US. The Central Artery Tunnel Project, CA T, known unofficially as the Big Dig, was a mega project in Boston that rerouted the central artery of Interstate 93, the chief highway through the heart of the city, into the 3.5 mile or 5.6 kilometre Thomas P. O'Neill Jr. Tunnel. The project also included the construction of the Ted Williams Tunnel. Originally destined to be completed in 1998 at an estimated cost of $2.8 billion, it was the most expensive highway project in the US and was plagued by delays, leaks, design flaws and charges of poor execution. The project was completed in 2007 for $8.08 billion. As a result, the consortium that oversaw the project agreed to pay $407 million in restitution. If they paid that much in restitution, it can only be imagined what the corruption amounts could have been. 